Hey, it's Corey Knight with Classroom Tech Made Simple, and I'm gonna show you how to make a virtual iPad using Google Slides. The first thing we wanna do here is we want to delete all of these things here because we wanna start with a completely blank slide. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to drag Safari so that I can split screen. And I'm gonna go to classroomtechmadesimple.com slash virtual iPad. I added a few images that you can use for a virtual iPad. So once again, that website URL is classroomtechmadesimple.com slash virtual iPad. And you can see here, I gave you two different options. So just choose whichever one you want and you can save them or you can just simply drag them over to the screen of the Google Slides and drag and drop. That's the cool thing about the iOS update. I'm gonna slide this over here to the side and I'm gonna center this right in the middle of my slide. This is gonna be the home screen for my virtual iPad. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add apps to this just by simply adding a few images and then masking those images and then hyperlinking them to different pages. So let's go back to Safari and then I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Google. And we need to find a specific picture here that we wanna use. And say that we wanna use a picture of a tiger. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to images. I'm gonna find an image that I like and that I'm gonna make an app out of, or an app icon more specifically. And I'm just gonna simply drag and drop this over to my Google Slides project. Okay, so now this image is a little bit out of shape. It's not exactly the size of the app, so I need to actually go and crop this. Tap on the image, and then at the top here, I'm gonna click the Crop button, and then I'm gonna crop it down to the size that I want. That's pretty square, relatively centered. And then I've got my square, but you know, sometimes on an app, we need to mask these. So just right next to that Crop button, I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And then I'm gonna round those edges and then I'm gonna size it down a little bit to make it the right app size. And then I'm just gonna simply drag it over here. All right, so there is the icon for my app. Well, now we need to hyperlink it. So the first thing we need to do here is add a new slide. We're gonna say maybe this is all about tigers. Another thing on this slide, I wanna add a home button. So we're just gonna write home here and I just added this image and we're gonna hyperlink that. So I'm gonna put this back in the bottom right hand corner so that I can tap this and it'll go back to my home screen of my iPad. So I'm back here on my first slide and we're going to tap the button and we're going to insert a link. We need to link this to slide number two. Make sure you hit apply and then down here at the button, we are going to insert link. And we are going to link it to slide one, hit the check mark, got to hit the check mark. And we should be good to go here with our virtual iPad. So let's go ahead and present this to see if this works, to see if our home button works. So here's my virtual iPad. I click on my icon and then it takes me to that page. And then I click on my home button and boom, back to the virtual iPad. What a great way to show engagement in the classroom. So hopefully you have learned something from this and that you can apply it in your own classroom or you can have your students start to apply this same technique in their own work and it really will improve engagement throughout your use of iPads in the classroom. If you like this video, please like it or subscribe to the channel so that you can get more updates like this or you can go visit my website at classroomtechmadesimple.com. We'll see you next video.